the warmest the planet has been in at least 100,000 years. That is wild. It's nice to have a break here, especially yeah. with the much needed rain, Chris. Yeah, this is a real good drink of water, as I mentioned at the top of the show and mostly focused south of Interstate 80. We'll take you into a few of the communities that are getting in on the soaking because it's not everyone and it's missing the areas uh, worst affected by this drought. But from Creston to Mount Air through Lamoni and into Centerville and Sheridan, you can see those darker shades of uh, yellow and orange there. If we switch over to our rainfall rate, you can see that uh, this isn't pouring out there, but anywhere from one to two inch per hour rainfall rates, even at a half an hour, you're talking about well over half an inch, almost three quarters of an inch of rain. Great news. Everyone is gloomy this afternoon. You don't you can't really escape the clouds and the showers around here. Again, it's drier farther north, but you can see that in Algona, for example, it's still cloudy, so we're all uh, part of this uh, cloud uh, area of cloud cover that's all encompassing and temperatures are held back because of those clouds. You look at Atlantic, Creston uh, and Lamoni all into the mid and upper 50s. So it is a cool day for July and it'll take a little while to play catch up with these rainfall amounts from Osceola down through Lamoni and even up into Des Moines. But this is a good signature of what we're expecting anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain out through Council Bluffs, even more across eastern Nebraska. And here's that storm system compact not again, very big and moving quickly, but the back edge of the clouds is still out towards uh, South Dakota, central Nebraska. And when that moves through, we may catch a little bit of late day sun, but the placement and the timing of the system will really limit how much sunshine we see. So this really could come uh, end with a very cool day on the record books by the afternoon if we stay into the 60s and low 70s. Uh, a few more showers try to form, so our forecast models are hinting at cloudy skies remaining in place through the entire day. We'll see a few more showers through the overnight and then by tomorrow we're in and out of the clouds, but it's largely a dry day across the area, so that is some good news. And then we have some clearing for Sunday. Additional rainfall amounts anywhere from a third of an inch to over an inch of rain, which is excellent news, as I mentioned, as that drought continues to expand. And yes, our high temperatures today may stay into the mid 60s. There could be some records record low high temperatures set because of these cloudy skies and the system moving through when it's moving through temperatures anywhere from the low to mid 50s are not quite as cool as the last couple of nights, but it's been a nice break for the AC. And again, we haven't had that drenching humidity when you step outside and you break a sweat. Far from it. You're just actually getting wet from the rain showers that are moving through that will clear out tomorrow. Your eight day forecast does show summer making a big comeback. We're up to about 90 degrees as we go into uh, Monday and Tuesday of next week. Next chance for showers and thunderstorms. Alex will come Wednesday and Thursday. Again, nothing widespread, unfortunately, when it comes to a soaking rain. Mm -hmm.